We're asked to write the first order linear system of ordinary differential equations in matrix notation, and then solve and write the solution in matrix notation. In this lesson, we learn how to write a vector equation for a system of differential equations in the form of x prime of t equals p of t times x of t plus f of t, where x prime of t, x of t, and f of t are all vector valued functions, and p of t is a matrix valued function. To write the system in matrix notation, we simply use matrices to represent the vector valued functions as well as the matrix valued function. Our system is x1 prime equals 2t x2 and x2 prime equals 2t x2. Notice that variable x1 does not appear in either equation and therefore it might be helpful to rewrite the differential equations as x1 prime equals 0x1 plus 2t x2 and x2 prime equals 0x1 plus 2t x2. This will make it much easier to determine the matrix for p of t. And now to write matrix notation, we write x1 prime and x2 prime as a two by one matrix and then p of t is going to be the two by two matrix with entries zero and two t in the first row as well as zero and two t in the second row. And then x of t is going to be a two by one matrix where the entries are x1 and x2. So this is the matrix notation for the system of differential equations. It is common to replace the two by one matrix with x1 prime and x2 prime with just x prime or x prime of t and also replace the two by one matrix with x1 and x2 with just x or x of t. But again, because it's strictly asking for matrix notation, I would leave it in this first form. And now we need to solve the system and write the solution in matrix notation. Looking at the two differential equations, we can solve x2 prime equals 2t x2 using separation of variables. Let's start there. Separating the variables, we have one divided by x2 dx2 equals 2t dt. Next, we integrate both sides of the equation. On the left, we have natural log absolute value of x2 equals on the right, two times t squared divided by two plus c, which simplifies to t squared plus c. Next, we exponentiate both sides of the equation with a base of e. Notice the right side is always positive, and therefore when simplifying on the left, we can drop the absolute value. The left simplifies to just x2, on the right, e to the power of t squared plus c is equal to e to the t squared times e to the c. e to the c is just some constant which we'll call c1. We now know x2 is equal to c1 e to the t squared. And now looking at the first differential equation, we have x1 prime equals 2t x2. We can now substitute c1 times e to the t squared for x2. This gives us x1 prime equals 2t times c1 e to the t squared which we'll write as c1 times 2t e to the t squared. We can also solve x1 prime equals c1 2t e to the t squared using separation of variables. Separating the variables, we have dx1 equals c1 2t e to the t squared dt. And now we integrate both sides of the equation. Notice on the left, the integrand function is just one. The integral of one with respect to dx1 is just x1. On the right, we need to perform u substitution, where u is equal to t squared, and du is equal to 2t dt. Notice on the right, in terms of u, we now have just the integral of c1 e to the u du, which gives us x1 equals c1 e to the t squared plus c2, where c2 is the constant of integration. And now that we have x1 and x2, we can write the solution in matrix notation. We write x1 and x2 in a two by one matrix, which is equal to another two by one matrix where the first entry is c1 e to the t squared plus c2 and the second entry is c1 e to the t squared. This is the solution written using matrix notation. And again, it is common to replace the two by one matrix with entries x1 and x2 with the vector valued function x of t. I hope you found this helpful.